for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com let us discuss about the tundra ecosystem tundra ecosystem is characterized by the low temperature and short growing season short growing season is only for almost two months only because in this time only plants can get enough sunlight and they can grow so the short growing season and low temperature limits the growth of plants so these ecosystems are devoid of trees and the word tundra itself means the land which is devoid of trees where this ecosystem is found it is found in south of pole say this is north pole and there will be ice covered region around the pole and beyond that there exists this tundra region and below that will be taiga ecosystem so north of taiga ecosystem occurs the tundra ecosystem covering the northern regions of russia greenland north america regions this covers the tundra ecosystem and this ecosystem is found in the north pole in south pole it is permanently ice covered region and here there are two types of tundra biomes one is arctic and alpine arctic is the region surrounding the north pole and alpine are the mountain ecosystems we saw that as height increases the temperature decreases in the mountains and after a particular height when trees are not supported there exists the tundra vegetation so the climatic features are it is ice bound there are strong winds strong winds there are polar vortex polar winds in this regions polar easterlies in this region so the strong winds also prevent the growth of higher plants they cannot survive in that strong winds and particularly in Ar arctic ecosystem temperature can be as low as minus 12 degrees celsius and the rainfall is very less so both precipitation and temperature are less that vegetation is not normal like other biomes so how uh, what will be the characteristics of soil soils are called jelly soils or cryosols the word cryo means ice like very low temperature uh, materials we call like cryo cryo that word means lower temperature soils soils existing in lower temperature and one particular feature of this soil is permafrost what is permafrost here if we take the horizon of the soil this is top layer this is sub layer this layer will be permanently frozen because of ice cold temperature soil in this region will be permanently frozen and this top layers will freeze and thaw freeze and the opposite is thaw freeze and thaw as per the climate so the top layer will change its physical characteristics when it is thawing uh, their water will accumulate in this region because sub layer is frozen it won't percolate down and this soil will become boggy soils what is mean by boggy soil boggy soils are otherwise called jelly soils that is it is like a clay clay soils there won't be much aeration and it is water also not per percolating down so it is gives a zombie or marshy like characteristics and these are the defining characteristic of the soil in this region so the plant life should be
specially adapted to this extreme climates. For example, there will be short living plants like perennials. What are perennials? Perennials are the plants which don't live for the whole year. It will grow, produce seeds and then it will die. It won't exist up to a full year. Such perennials will appear in the spring season. There will be a lot of flowering plants in that spring. Flowers occur in spring season and they will die fast. And seed will remain in the soil. So in the next season, the plant will again come to life. Otherwise, small plants like shrubs standard, they will be standard, won't grow much high. Lichens, mosses, herbs, like that, low growing. It will be mainly adhering to the ground. And these plants will be having thick cuticles. And hair, epidermal hair. This is to prevent the lower temp, like escape from the very low temperatures. To prevent ice depositing on them, they have cuticles and hair. And these are the adaptation of, for the plants. What about animals? Animals are also having fur, fur animals and short limbs. What are limbs? Limbs are hands, legs and tails. Compared to body made, but body will be very large. They will be having comparatively large body, but short limbs. It is to prevent the heat loss. To reduce the surface area and prevent heat loss, these animals will be having short limbs and a large body size. It will be having fat covering also in their body, like polar bear, arctic fox like those kind of animals are specially adapted to live here and these insects insects also have short lifespan like perennial plants these insects also exist only for a particular month in an year after that they will die and some migratory birds visit in this region one important point is that this bacteria and fungi diversity is relatively higher in this region. There exist different varieties of uh, these microorganisms and the plant and animal life are less diverse. There is not much variety of plants and animals available. So these are the fact, uh, main characteristic of a tundra ecosystem. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.